298 in the line on the line right now. 298. Okay, we're ready. Okay, let's get ready for tonight's teaching, The Prosperity Secret. Prophet Kelly, begin reading here. We have 3 John 2 as the first scripture. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Amen. I wished above all things that thou mayest prosper. Young prophet, what does that say to you? That means that above all things, God wants prosperity to be in your life. God wants success to be in your life. God wants you believing in a prophet. My goodness, mm. Prophet Devon Thompson. <laughs> you know, I love that. God wants you not only to believe the prophet, God wants you to know that prosperity is guaranteed. Ooh, prosperity is guaranteed. And Prophet Kelly, if a person ring, um, do, d does a three ninety nine seat or more tonight, what are they going to hear tonight? They're going to hear a prosperity message. No. Oh. They're, going <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get three prophets calling them prophesying the word of the Lord in their ear. It's going to be amazing. They'll get the word of the Lord right here in the but what, are, but, but what are they going to hear? Oh, what are they going to hear? Oh, what yeah, are they going to hear? Yeah, I was wondering what happened. Oh, my goodness. You, what are they going to hear? You had a relapse. I did. I, I, I had a sometimes moment. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you're going to hear. Ooh. I feel like a kid ringing that bell. That's so exciting. I tell you, they're going to hear that bell. You feel like that too, don't you, young man? I tell you, you're going to hear that bell. Almost like the teacher. Yes. But you know what? When y'all ring that bell, there's teaching angels that are coming. Mm. Mm. Yes, angels that are going to instruct them yes. in the way that they should go. Mm. And I want us to keep that list going. Those that are doing the three ninety nine or more, I want us to keep that list going. Mm. Keep, oh, they keep that them. list. Keep it going. Keep it. Oh, we gotta right. keep that list going. Young prophet, how important is that list? That faith list is super important. That list is gonna <laughs> lift up your faith. We are believing God. For supernatural faith, and with supernatural faith, God is going to give you a supernatural miracle. Woo, Jesus, Jesus. Prophet Cynthia, and why do they want to get their name on that list? You know, Master Prophet, they want to get on this faith list. It's the Master Prophet's faith list, and the Master Prophet and all the company prophets will be praying for those who have their names on the faith list for this entire month. And so you don't want to miss this opportunity to have the prophet's eyes on you, because you know there's a covering there. And so don't miss the opportunity when the prophet's eyes is on you and the prophets are praying for you. Well, guess what? You know you're going to walk into your good. You know you're going to walk into your blessing. You know there's protection under that covering. And so you need to make that list by sowing your $399 seed or more. All right. All right. Read the next point, Prophet Kelly. Prosperity keys that you should live by. Yes. Now, here's the first key I wanted you to get. Prophet mm -hmm. Cynthia, why don't you read this first key while Prophet Kelly is just... <laughs> <laughs> What's the word I want to use? Um, simmering okay. in that consciousness. <laughs> yes, Master Prophet. The first key is... I deserve to be wealthy. Prophet Thompson, what would you say about that thought, I deserve to be wealthy? You know, I deserve to be wealthy is my declaration for life and being. Mm, okay. That's turkey, right? Next point, Prophet Kelly. I can easily afford to pay all my bills. Whoa, I can easily afford to pay. Do you receive that mantra, Prophet Kelly? I do, I do, and I do. Yeah. A lot of oil in this. Next point. I deserve money to buy all things I need and want. My God, I mind. deserve money. Now let's look at Genesis chapter 39 and verse number 2. We know Joseph was a very rich man in spite of his present condition. Mm -hmm. Begin reading. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And the Lord was where? With, with Joseph. With Joseph. Mm -hmm. And he was a what? Prosperous man. When God is with you, you will prosper. Mm. Mm. 
doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter which. It doesn't even matter which party is in office. Mm. Mm. It doesn't matter whether you're in recession, depression, oppression, <laughs> succession. Mm. It doesn't matter. When the Lord is with you, you will prosper. Mm. Joseph was a slave, and he yet prospered because the Lord was with Jesus. him. What would you want to say about that, Prophet Thompson? You mean God really used an uncomfortable situation to set you up for the greater miracle? Listen, he put you in an uncomfortable situation oh, just to show mm -hmm. people that God is with you. I know God has put me in many uncomfortable situations just so people could say, he what? He what? Until I thought he what was my middle name. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> See, God will demonstrate he is with you because he'll put you in a situation that will look like he's not even there just to show that there isn't a spot where God is not. That's right. Amen. Read on Prophet Scully. Joseph prospered under God. Amen. He, pros he prospered in spite of the condition of slavery he was in. When the Lord is with you, you will prosper. When the Lord is with you, I really want to type in, when God is with me, I am prospered. When God is with me, I am prospered. Okay. Now I want everyone to type in right now, I was born to be rich. I want all the prophets on the stage to say, I was born to be rich. I was, I was born, born to, to be, be rich. rich. Man was born to be rich or grow rich by the use of his faculties, by the union of thought with nature. That was a word spoken by Emerson. Read on Prophet Kelly. God has provided for the most minute needs of our daily life. If we lack anything, it is because we have not used our mind in making the right contact with the super mind, which is the God mind. Amen. Yes. Yes, Prophetess boys. Hello? Yeah. Who's I saying? Who's, the oh, I'm sorry. Who's saying hello? Yes, Jim. Hello? Hello? Yes, your name? Doris Conti. Who? Doris Conti. Uh, you got the wrong number. Oh. This is the number that was left for me. Who okay, left thank you. You did. Who left the number for you? You did, Prophet. Presentation mode is now disabled. Presentation mode is now enabled. Okay. I didn't get the name. Did you get the name? Doris Hunter? Okay. Um, what was the last point I was making? We were born to be rich. Okay, we were born to be rich. Okay, so God has provided for the very minute needs of our daily life. Now, I want you to know that you were born to be rich, and rich is your birthright. I want everyone to type in, rich is my birthright. Amen. Rich is my birthright. Okay, Prophet Kelly, let's talk now about what is prosperity. Prosperity is the outpicturing of substance in our affairs. Everything in the universe is for you, and not against you. Life is ever giving of itself. The law gives you power to attain prosperity and position without infringing the rights and opportunities of anyone else in the world. Good. So prosperity is the outpicturing of substance in our affairs. 
So someone said, well, what is prosperity? Prosperity is simply me outpicturing divine substance in my affairs. One of the 